This is tuna on toast. Did, did you watch any shows over the last year with your wife that you're like, oh, yeah. huh, well, I'm, I'm locked, and you have, if, if you like, you don't watch it at the same time, it's almost like cheating. Do you have any other shows? <laughs> you know, no, nah, we, we did watch a bunch of shows. I mean, obviously, you know, it's like the White Lotus is a bitchin' show. Yes. Um, <laughs> the one about the, the Tiger King is bitchin', you know. Yep. There's a lot of things like that. Um, I tend to watch movies only um, because I just love film that way. I love these kind of contained stories. Versus- is there a certain kind of movie that you watch or you, oh, if you hear something's good or something pops up, you're like, oh, I'm going to check this out. I get pretty bored with normal dramas and stuff because, you know, they call them these walk and talks, you know, where you're just filming a person talking and walking. I'm like, where's like the robots and where's the big alien spaceships? Mm. But a lot of those big robot alien spaceship movies kind of suck too. So I'm always on the hunt for something that's visually arresting that has a pace that really kind of go, whoa, this is interesting and it has a clever story. Um, and so, you know, I'm a big fan of like Chris Nolan for that reason. Is, is he your fa- that guy's obviously unbelievable. He's so good, is yeah. he at the top of your list? Like you like Quentin yeah. Tarantino films? You, you want to hear a funny story about Nolan? Yes. Okay, so I was at Warner Brothers lot and I was doing something with one of my films, something, um, pitching something probably. And I'm walking down this hallway and I see his production company, Sync Copy, like their like production logo. I was like, oh, fuck, it's like Nolan's company. I'm like, all right. So I walk in there, and there's like this one intern chick sitting there. And this is funny. I walk up, I'm all, this is going to sound weird, but my name's Tom DeLong. You may or may not know me or more my band, Blink, okay, throwing names out there. Any case, I'm working with some people in the government, and I got some crazy shit going on. And I know it's going to probably freak you out. I'm not trying to, but I respect the time here. And she's just looking at me. <laughs> and I don't really know how to you're say this. But she says, sir, if you're trying to get the part, then do your monologue over yeah, there. Yeah, totally. They're all like, we're not casting right now, idiot. I was like, oh, no, no. So then I say this stuff. I'm going to look. Here's, um, here's my email. Just want you to pass it on to the boys and say, like, I got some people that would love to sit with them and tell them some shit. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I left. That was it. So I'm leaving. Like two hours later, I get a call from my film agent. He goes, what the fuck did you do? I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, dude, you you went into Nolan's office and they had to grab you and escort you off the lot? <laughs> that that was the rumor. No. I swear to God. And I was like, no, I left it on my own fucking will. You know, I didn't know I didn't get in trouble. But that was this whole thing. And then um, about like six months later, yes. I go down and I'm having a meeting with like a writer, a writer director guy. And um, as I'm sitting with him, Nolan walks right by the window. And I go, holy shit, I'll be right back. And because in my motorcycle, same one, yeah. I had all these pamphlets that we made. We did a really big briefing at CIA. Like, I wasn't even able to go. I mean, I run the company, but I don't have the security clearances for that. Okay. So my guys went, uh, just whatever. So the pamphlet kind of really talked about our company and all the things we're doing. And they were made specifically for the, the briefing at the agency. And, um, but I had some of those pamphlets with me. So I, I ran out and I said, hey, I stopped by your office one day. <laughs> It's crazy. Take this. You whatever. went right up to him now. You're face yeah, to yeah. face. Yeah, I'll fucking kiss him. Okay. I don't care. Like he's rad, you know. Yes. Um, but um, I didn't kiss him. But I gave him the pamphlet. Uh, I didn't hear anything back. He must be just tripping. He's like, "This, what the fuck is this guy? Who is this guy? <laughs> Who?" So he looks up, blink, and it's like we're naked. Our dicks are out. Who right. knows what he thinks? He's yes. like, "This guy." What's my age again? Video. Yeah. It's wrong. Rock show. Yeah. Go look my band up. Wait, wait. Do not look my band up. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Now hit that subscribe button. And for more Tuna on Toast, listen wherever you get your podcasts.